All right, so we are doing an eggplant parmigiana, okay? Uh, a little bit uh, more, uh, instead of baking it, uh, you know, in a, in a sheet pan, we're going to bake individual. So we're going to cut the eggplant, okay? We're going to leave a little bit of the skin onto the eggplant, and then, then we're going to cut it just like this. Take the eggplant, and we're going to put it into a colander, like this. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, then we're going to put salt and pepper, and we're going to put a little weights on top. Okay, that's good. Then take uh, uh, the same uh, salt, right? And then just put them on top, okay? Like this. Perfect. And then we're gonna leave it like that for about 10, 15 minutes, okay? okay now we're going to making a tomato sauce for the parmigiana, and we're gonna use the passata. Okay, the passata is completely natural, so we can use just garlic, like it's on the recipe on the, on the passata, right there. Okay, but I think for the parmigiana, I like to creating a little bit of sweetness by adding a little bit of onions. So, why don't you chop the onions a little bit? Okay, that's, that's enough. Okay, that's good. Okay, so then. Uh, Okay, put it on the side. Over here, you have a little bit of garlic. Why don't you remove it from the garlic just to remove the, 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 the top part, okay? All right, that's it, like that. And what I will do, I will just crush them a little bit. Okay, not too much, because I don't wanna, I wanna give them too much of the garlic flavor, but we do need that, okay? Okay, very good. Okay. So now, so we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil into the pan. It is plenty. Okay. Then let's add the onions and the garlic. to stir fry that until the garlic gets golden okay okay the garlic is getting golden the onions are getting sweet so why don't you now we're using why don't you use the passata okay passata is completely natural so just pour in the passata right in okay the whole thing yes put the whole thing all right, wonderful. A little water for this. Okay, right now we don't need it because uh, the eggplant parmigiana requires a tomato that is a little bit more thick. Okay. If you do pasta, then you can also use a little bit of water. Why don't you stir it? Okay, and now you want to seasoning this, okay, with uh, again salt, pepper, oregano, and then some basil. Okay. You leave it right on the top, okay? There you go. Okay, just put a little bit of oregano, not too much, just a pinch, okay? That's good. Wonderful. A little bit of uh, salt. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. A little bit of pepper. Okay, so now, we have to simmer this sauce basically for about uh, 10 minutes, okay? Simmer the sauce for about 10 minutes because we want this sauce to be a little bit more thicker, okay, than usual, okay? Because we're using this for the eggplant parmigiana, okay? When you do eggplant parmigiana, the sauce has to be a little bit more tight. Okay, 15 minutes has passed by, the eggplant has uh, sweated a little bit, now we take it and we put it into a paper towel to dry out. Okay, beautiful, 
Okay, do the other one too. And we have to flower them. Okay, so now we're gonna flour all and then we're gonna fry it. Okay, right, turn them around. Okay, let's see. Okay, very nice. Okay, the eggplant now a kind of golden in both sides. Now you're gonna take it out and we dry it out. By doing this, uh, we're basically eliminating all the extra oil that uh, the eggplant has uh, absorbed. Okay, so that way it will be more clean. Take some fresh mozzarella and we're gonna squeeze uh, some of the water out. Beautiful. That's good. Perfect. Okay, and the eggplants are done, right? So now let's get uh, these uh, miso plus together. Okay, so now that we that we cooked the eggplant, we cooked the tomato passata, we have the basil, we have some very squeezed mozzarella, and then we got here some parmigiano reggiano, okay, or grana padana, or if you prefer, a mixing. Sometimes the eggplant parmigiano can be done only with the parmigiano, okay, but most of the people, they do like some mozzarella. So now you can bake it into a sheet pan, okay, by putting eggplant, tomato, basil, parmigiano, mozzarella, and do the layers. We're doing without being breading this. If you bread the eggplant, then you can use half of the eggplant, but it's not the real parmigiana. The real parmigiana is without the breading, okay? Now, we're going to make it into some rings here, and we do individual um, Napoleon of eggplant, you know, by utilizing the ring mold, but you don't have to do that, you can actually just uh, lay down the eggplant, then the tomatoes, mozzarella, parmigiano, eggplant, tomato, and make a lasagna of eggplants. And then we bake it for about 45 minutes on low uh, uh, 350 degree oven, okay? For 45 minutes, that is the real parmigiana. But we're going to do on a ring mold, okay? So let's go and put uh, on the bottom the eggplant. So we're gonna lay down the eggplant. Let's do two, uh, let's do a, uh, yeah, let's do one at a time. Let's see if the eggplant fits perfectly. If it doesn't, we put something else. Okay, now a little tomato. Okay, that's good. Just like that, very nice. Then put a little bit of mozzarella. Perfect. And then a little bit of a parmigiano. A little bit more remember it's a parmigiano okay and then let's put a little a, a little piece of a basil right there just in the middle nice and then just go in with another layer all right perfect and then we do a continuation okay cover that and we're gonna do about uh, maybe five layers okay just a repeat, repetition of mozzarella, parmigiano, basil, and then the tomato. Okay, so now you have uh, press it down. This is, uh, we do one more layer, okay? So press this down a little bit with your hands. Or actually use uh, a spoon, okay? And press it down a little bit. Nice, a little bit more. Just go ahead, don't, don't be afraid. Just go, go down, press it, press it, press it, press it. Okay, and let's do the last layer, all right? So let's take the last layer. All right, and then hold on one second. Now the last layer is a little bit smaller. Take another second one, okay? And then take a third one as well. Okay, perfectly. All right, beautiful. Now let's put a little bit of tomato. Okay, hold it now. And now on the last layer, right? You put, uh, with a spoon, put a little bit more. Okay, you have to cover with the tomato, okay? Cover with the tomato, perfect. All right, and now you just put some Parmigiano Reggiano, or Grana Padana, whatever you feel, on top. Keep it going, keep it going. Perfect, and that is basically the finished dishes before we bake it, okay? And then we're gonna bake it now for, because it's a small amount, we're going to try to bake it on 35 minutes for around 350 degrees. Okay, uh, about 35 minutes, uh, the 
the eggplant came out of the oven and it's gonna look like this. So now, basically this eggplant has to rest for at least a half an hour. Eggplant parmigiana, the best is when you eat uh, room temperature, okay? Because that's where you're getting most of the flavor, all right? But uh, as you can see, there's a little oil. Okay, so take a piece of paper, okay? You can uh, uh, rinse it up a little bit from the top, like this, see? Okay, right? see, look, mm. all right? So you press it down a little bit, okay? Like this, all right? And then, like I said, right now, is extremely, see, we take all the extra oil out, right? So now, you have, the eggplant has to rest. But if you like to use this eggplant, completely hot right now, okay you have to use a technique so basically what you do you come down with a spatula like this you come into a plate okay and now you go and you remove the molding okay and then you got yourself a parmigiana of eggplant we put a little bit of a basil inside here and now you're going to enjoy it look how beautiful but remember what i said you do not want to eat this parmigiana right now it needs to settle for at least like an hour or two and then you can warm it up again and then you can put it here and then you got the best flavors okay in the world but as you can see in one two three we created a napoleon of eggplant parmigiana style not bread it well some rustic bread my <laughs> terre sacre wine red molise rosso the tintilia and then the rispetto this uh, beautiful eggplant parmigiana italian style slow cooking no breading the other one that is resting and of course uh, the glass of wine right here what is better than that this is a fantastic rustic dish and uh, it's an incredible dish hopefully you're enjoying this uh, dish baked dish with your uh, with our favorite wine the terre sacre wine of molise this is the wine that i represent buon appetito